back on the Wapak Trail, heading uphill. Today I am out here with no mileage goal in mind. Basically just trying to get some time on feet today, uh, whether it be hiking or running. The uphills are definitely hiking today. It's gonna be kind of a chill day, long miles, hopefully. I've got three or four hours to, to kill out here, which is a great feeling. <laughs> and yeah, just gonna kind of enjoy the day. The trails are pretty quiet. It's got a nice cool breeze coming through here. It is super warm and humid today. Humidity is at about 92, 93%, which is very, very humid. And you can tell by looking at the rocks on the ground here, very greasy, very wet outside. You can feel it, you know, I'm not really sweating yet, but my skin is wet from the air. And this training run is gonna be one of my last before an ultra marathon I have coming up. Those birds are loud. So I've kept it pretty quiet on my channel. I haven't really shared my race calendar because I've found that the more I share about my races, the more pressure I feel to actually perform at those races. But for the sake of science and transparency, I'm gonna put it all out there today. So on my birthday, which is actually July 10th, uh, so we're like two and a half weeks out right now, I'll be running the Chesterfield Gorge 50 mile ultra marathon. This is a race I actually ran uh, two, two years ago, back in 2019. And I actually did really well at this race. I actually PR'd my 50 mile distance at eight and a half hours. It was like eight hours, 34 minutes. And uh, it was a great day for me. I just had a really solid effort, didn't blow up, did the hydration right, nutrition right. And it's a pretty easy course. So while the course is 50 miles long, which is a long run, uh, the course doesn't have a ton of elevation gain. And what's kind of important about the Chesterfield Ultra is that it's gonna qualify me for the Vermont 100 in 2022 because it was canceled this year unfortunately as we gain elevation up here the humidity is just crazy i don't know if you can see this on camera but you can actually see the moisture in the air we're essentially inside of a cloud right now a really low cloud because this ridge isn't that tall i think the highest peak here is like just a little over 2,000 feet tall if any of you have a tip to keep GoPros from fogging up, I would love to hear from you because this is becoming a real problem in the humidity. <laughs> this is the summit or the peak, even though it's little, we're at the top. Up here we've got a little uh, fire warden tower or a fire lookout tower. We've got a cell phone tower up here. And now we're on to the next peak. Oh, we almost get a view. Yeah. <laughs> and after tagging the summit, we are off again. Boy, this part of the trail is really nice. It's like a groomed, buffed out trail. Yeah, you don't get much of this up here in the Northeast. We got a uh, Mount Monadnock, we've got Mark Cardigan, North Pack Monadnock, and if we pan over, ah yes, beautiful views from inside the cloud. No such luck today. Hopefully it uh, clears up a little, little bit by the time we get back here and we actually get a view. But right now, there's nothing. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about training leading up to the uh, 50 mile ultra I have in about two and a half weeks. Uh, not feeling that great about it, to be honest. Lately, I've been feeling pretty undertrained and really overwhelmed. Uh, got a lot going on, personal life. We've got three kids, you know, it's summer vacation, lots of things going on, and my work is crazy, so just uh, pretty overwhelming to think about training. And, you know, a little worried about blowing up at that race, and, um, you know, I just wish I had more time, you know, <laughs> but it is what it is. You know, I'm gonna put this out there, full transparency, because I know not everyone has all the time in the world to train for races. There's other priorities that come up and get in the way. And uh, I'm a grown up, so I gotta, I gotta do them. <laughs> oh man, this stuff is so slippery. It is just granite covered in moss. Like, it, it's literally, it's literally like ice. <laughs> It is a 
funny thing with this YouTube channel though. You know, I post my goals and aspirations and things out there and I feel like the more subscribers I get, the more pressure I feel to kind of perform when it comes to race day or any goal that I have. And that lately has led me to kind of keeping those things to myself and not sharing them. But I feel like there's some value in sharing them because a lot of the stuff you see on YouTube or on social media is elite athletes just totally dominating. <laughs> you know, you got Jim Walmsley and Hayden Hawks and these guys out there who are just laying down, you know, 200 mile weeks with 20,000 feet of vert every week. And I feel like for the average person, that's just not real. So I think there is some value to me sharing the realness of an everyday dude, a dad, guy who has a full-time job, you know, trying, desperately trying to find the time to train for these things. It's really hard and you should be proud of any accomplishments that come out of that whether it be a first place finish or even a last place finish or even a DMF. I mean, getting 50 miles into a hundred miler is still hell of an accomplishment. Okay, just made it back to the car little over 15 miles and 4,100 feet of elevation gain. Pretty solid day in the books. I'll call that my long run for the week and uh, try to get a little over five miles tomorrow to wrap up the week. Hope you enjoyed running with me today. And if you did, make sure you give me the old thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, do all the things. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Yeah.